Hi, welcome back. We are going to try our 167 chocolate eggs and divide them into five different baskets instead. So we are not making quantities of five. We are putting them in five baskets and we're wondering how much will we have in each basket. So we're this time looking for the quantity. Um, here's 167. You can see the number it's always going to be down here we need to do the same process i cannot break this guy physically into five groups so i need to trade him in for the next place value down which is tens so this will be traded into 10 rods here's a group of five that i can copy already five ten so i took that hundred flat and made it into 10 rods, which is exactly the same value, put it with the six rods I already had and the seven units that I already had. I still have 167, but this time I am starting with 16 tens. So my answer goes up here above the 16. I'm going to leave this blank this time to show you another way that it can be done. So can I take these and make groups of five? Absolutely. I can take these five, put them in a basket. I can take these five, put them in a basket, and these five and put them in a basket, right? then I'm only going to end up with three baskets. So I'm going to have to rethink how I am putting these down here because technically, oh, that guy got left alone. Sorry. Technically I ended up making baskets that didn't, that, that left me with three baskets and I'm looking to make these into five baskets. So I will quickly draw five baskets. Now, I'm going to take my time and do this. I'm going to start with putting two in every basket because I am pretty sure I can get at least two in every basket, maybe even three. Ooh, it looks like I can do three. So let me go back and put three in every basket. I can. So, I think on the last problem, I didn't, ex I, I think I kept going back and forth between putting the proper amount in baskets versus a quantity. So I'm going to try and be a little more diligent this time because I said I'm trying to divide into five baskets. I'm going to try to keep that same language, making it more proper, a little more proper. So I ended up finding that I could put the exact same amount in every box, every basket. So that I put three, technically 30, 10, 20, 30, right? I put three group, three sticks, three rods, three packages of 10 in there. And so three groups of five, I'm on the multiplier. Three times five is 15. I take those 15, I put them in baskets, I now have one rod left. If you can see, I'm in the tens place. Ones, tens, hundreds. So I still have a single rod, which is worth 10. Then I have these seven left. So I'm going to bring down that number so I end up with 17 units. Well, guess what? I don't have 17 units. I have 17 altogether until I trade this guy out for 10 units, right? I still have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. That number 17 comes from having 17 units left over. I traded in a stick, a rod for units. And now I have a reason to go back and divide because I'm pretty sure I can take at least the same 15 and put three in every group and see what, what, see what happens. 
So one, two, three. And let's take one, two, I'll stick them right on top, three. And I've got enough for another group. Oh, I don't have enough for more than three, but I do have enough for three, don't I? Awesome. Okay, I have two left over. So I made equal groups of three again. So this three times this five is going to leave us 15 that we put in baskets. And now I need to subtract them because I put them in a basket. I have two left over. Now in order for me to put another unit in the another chocolate egg, I would have to have a total of five eggs so that I could do this and make it even. But since I can't, oops, I meant to erase, but since I can't, I just have two left over. And those two left over, yes, it's two eggs left over, but two out of a group of five. So technically what I have is two fifths. Take the two out of the five it would take to make another group. So every basket gets 33 and two fifths eggs. Or I eat the two fifths and they get 33 in each. And it, it, either way, I get a few extra to, to eat. Or maybe I give those to somebody else. Um, but either way, I will end up with two out of the five it would take to make another basket or another, not another basket, but another around in each basket. So that's where the two fits comes from. Could also say 33 and remainder two. Okay. Tune in next time. See you later.